Hi, this is Ira Krakow. The purpose of this video is to make you aware of a complete free Blender 3D course. The course was, and possibly still is, taught by Neil Hersig, an instructor at Tufts University. From the website, it appears that he taught it from 2006 through 2008 and that Tufts University students received college credit for it. A disclaimer, I don't know Neil Hersig. I have no affiliation with him or Tufts University. My only motivation is that I wanted to learn Blender 3D and that I found that his course helped me to get started up the learning curve, which I think is quite steep. I found Neil's presentation to be simple, concise, and easy to follow. Neil's experience is in stage set design. I found that his explanation for concepts like scene lighting and camera placement showed a deep understanding and real world experience. All the content, the syllabus, learning units, video tutorials, PDF and zip files for the examples, and the student projects are available at the website at uh, http colon slash slash www.grylus.net slash blender slash 3d dot html. This video is a virtual tour of the course's website. I took some screenshots and will comment on how I navigated through the course. Here's how Neil describes the course objectives. The Blender 3D course is intended to offer students an introduction to the world of computer-generated 3D modeling and animation. As an introductory course, it provides a basic understanding of the skills and techniques employed by 3D designers in a wide range of applications. In this online course, we will explore basic mesh modeling, applying textures and materials to 3D objects, lighting, animation, and rendering. This course should provide a good basis for further independent study in architectural, engineering, and theatrical modeling and game design. Dual level. There are two progressive levels of study in this online course, beginning level and intermediate level. Learning units 1 through 12 comprise the beginning level course, and learning units 13 through 24 comprise the intermediate level course. Note, the intermediate level course is currently under development. Online and self-paced. This course is offered to students online. That is, all the course material is located on this website or on other websites. This course is self-paced, meaning that you can pick and choose the learning units, video tutorials, or PDF tutorials as you see fit. The sequence of learning units are a suggested path of learning Blender, but you are welcome to use this material in any way that suits your purpose. All the software that you need, Blender and the optional installation of Python, is free and available from the website's Neil sites. Neil also describes the hardware requirements and states that a three-button mouse is required. Actually, I found that I could use Blender with only a two-button mouse on a laptop. However, you need to activate the Emulate Three-Button Mouse button. There's a video in the course called Blender for Laptops that shows you how. What happens is that Alt-Left-Click becomes the equivalent of using the middle mouse button. It's a bit awkward, given the combination of keys that Blender often requires, but it's not impossible. So if you have a two-button mouse, it's really up to you whether, you, whether or not to get a three-button mouse just to use Blender. The course is divided into learning units. Each learning unit, consisting of an introduction, a series of videos, and for many of them, some projects to give you practice. The 12 learning units for the beginning level course are complete. This is the course that we're taking. A good way to proceed, to paraphrase the Mad Hatter saying to Alice in Alice in Wonderland, is just begin at the beginning, continue until you get to the end, and then stop. Neil was thinking of doing an intermediate level course because there is a link to it. However, the link points to a page that says the course is in progress, and since the last update was in April 2008, it doesn't appear that the course will be ready anytime soon. All the assignments are available at this website. These include a PDF file detailing how to build the object or scene, a zip file containing any file such as JPEG images needed for textures or background, and the blend file containing the completed assignment so that if you get stuck, you can see how your project should have turned out. I found that it might take two or three tries to complete the assignment successfully, but in the process you learn a lot. There are about 150 Blender video tutorials grouped by topics from the basic Blender UI and editing meshes 
to more complicated topics, many not covered in the learning units, such as box modeling a frog, texture gradients, and importing and exporting between Blender and Google Earth. A great review tool is simply to watch a video a few times and then try to follow along in Blender. This reinforces your Blender skills quickly. Neil assigned students these projects, a magic sword, a robot, something called a la crate and barrel, animal planet, and architectural modeling. You can read the assignment by clicking the link from this window. And you can see the students' results, either as a flash demo or, in many cases, you can download the blend file. Here are some renderings from the magic sword assignment. The, the website also includes a handy cheat sheet of most of the Blender hotkeys. This is useful because Blender has a bewildering number of key combinations as shortcuts and hotkeys. You can also download and or print the cheat sheet as a PDF. So go to www.grylus.net slash blender slash 3d.html or Google free Blender 3D course. When I did it, the link was right at the top. Happy blending!